What is going on, y'all? My name is John, and this is Face Mask Fantasy, bringing you new fantasy content every day right here on this channel. So if you have not subscribed already, please hit that button. And before I get into it, I just got to let y'all know that we are rolling out live streams. We have a live stream every Sunday at 10 a.m. to go over start sick questions pre-kickoff. And we have a stream every Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. to go over everything that happened in last week's games and to go over waiver options before the waiver deadline early Wednesday morning. So tune in with us every Sunday and every Tuesday throughout the season and hopefully we can help you win your fantasy leagues. But without further ado, let's get into some fantasy talk and news just dropped that the Lions will be without Jamal Williams as he tested positive for COVID and will miss week 14. And this is huge as DeAndre Swift is out as well, which leaves Jermar Jefferson and Godwin Iguabuike at running back for the Lions as far as options that can suit up for this team on Sunday. Now Detroit Lions rookie running back Jamar Jefferson missed practice on Thursday with an illness as well. And while it looks like he was just dealing with the flu, he was added to the week 14 injury report. Now he should have a good chance to play this week against the Denver Broncos as one of the only healthy and active running backs on the Lions roster going into the game, but in light of the illness, we may have to temper our expectations just a little bit. The 21-year-old 7th rounder only saw 5 carries for 18 yards in last week's win over the Minnesota Vikings, and now he's got to deal with the Broncos in a tough matchup on the road. The Broncos defense currently ranks 13th in fantasy points average to opposing running backs, only averaging 19.4 fantasy points given up to the position through 12 games. But regardless, he should get a fair amount of work in this game. But who is Jamar Jefferson? The Lions selected Oregon State running back Jamar Jefferson with the 257th overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft. He's 5'10", 206 pounds, and was a three-star recruit and a three-year starter before declaring for the draft as a true junior. Jefferson earned Pac-12 Freshman of the Year honors by rushing for 1,380 yards and 12 touchdowns and averaged 108 rushing yards per game over his career. His vision and general feel for the game were thought to be his best attributes upon entering the NFL. Now, athletically, he's not somebody who will jump out at you. A 4.6 40-yard dash gives him a gives him a 32nd percentile 40 time. He has a 21st percentile speed score, a 13th percentile burst score, a 14th percentile agility score, and he's in the 5th percentile as far as bench reps. He's in the bottom 5th percentile of NFL running backs athletically, and thus far in the NFL, he has rushed two times for six yards and a touchdown against the Eagles in Week 8, while also netting four receptions on four targets for 23 yards. In week 10, he broke a long run on one of his three carries, netting 41 yards and a touchdown in his limited snaps that week. And in week 12, he went 5 for 18 on the ground with zero catches on one target. Now he'll get at least 50% of the work if he can get healthy from his illness that he's currently dealing with. And I think for week 14, he'll be an RB3 flex play with low end RB2 upside if he can net himself a touchdown like he has in two of the three weeks he's been active. But I wouldn't bet on him breaking too many long runs like he did in week 10 as again he'll be playing through the flu and he's not super athletic and he's playing a pretty decent defense on the road as well. Jermar Jefferson I believe is the type of back who can get a touchdown on the goal line and can catch passes when tasked with doing so but there's a reason he lasted until the seventh round and he also has to contend with Godwin Iguabuike who is the only back in this backfield who is all the way healthy and through 12 weeks he's played just as many snaps as Jermar Jefferson. He's averaged more yards per carry over the same amount of games played. He's caught more passes and has more receiving yardage over the same amount of games played, and while Jefferson might be the sexy rookie name, and Iquabuike is a vet at 27 who converted to running back from special teams ace this season, but I think it's Iquabuike who has the upper hand in this game. So if given the chance, I'm picking up Iquabuike over Jefferson for this spot against the Broncos. Both, I believe, are RB3s with a low-end RB2 upside if they can net themselves a touchdown, but they both play in a terrible offense. They'll be without TJ Hawkinson in this offense who's dealing with the hand injury, and honestly, they should be playing from behind in this game. So I'd rather have the back who is more versatile and more used in the pass game over the back who should soak up goal line work. And to me, that's Iguabuike over Jamar Jefferson for this week. But what do you guys think about this Detroit Lions backfield going into week 14? Put your thoughts in the comment section below. My name is John with Face Mask Fantasy, bringing you new fantasy content every day right here on this channel. So if you have not subscribed already, please hit that button. Thank you for listening and have a great day.